we're going to talk about today, theme of today's lecture is going to be attacking the king and executing the winning ideas, mates or, you know, winning materials. So attacking the king, that's the theme for today's class. The very first example I have for you here, you're white. You're down material. You're down a piece and it looks like a trouble. But here you have a beautiful combination that is going to result into a checkmate in three. I'm going to give you a couple of more minutes to think. So here you're trying to find a way to do the checkmate in three moves. White to play, checkmate in three. I would like to see more hands. More hands on this one. We are trying to find a way to win in three moves. I see several hands now. I want to give you a chance first. Checkmate in three. Go. Check. So he has to take it. He cannot go anywhere. So check. Now he has to take it. No choice. Check. Now he has to go here. And now. Bravo. Bravo. Excellent job. Okay. That's how you expose the position of the king. Okay. Expose by sacrificing your queen. And then you follow it up with a neat checkmate. Okay. You understand that? Attacking the king. Attacking the king. Remember. You have ideas like this. You have to, you have to think about it. Who would have played this in a real tournament game? Who, do, who would have think of this idea? Uh-huh, very good. You see this one. Checkmate in three. We want to expose the position of the king. Let's do this one more time here. This is an excellent idea. And this idea works thanks to the, the pawn wedge here. A wedge pawn we have on b6, okay? Remember that. Thanks to that, it works. So go ahead. Check. He has to take. And then? Check. Checkmate. Perfect. Now, the very next position I have for you. In this one, you need to play like Capablanca. Okay? Capablanca. Nobody, you never heard of him. Who knows who is Capablanca? Raise your hand. Arjun, who is Capablanca? Tell them, uh, tell us a little bit about Capablanca. A world champion in the 19th century. Okay, world champion number? What was he the world champion? That, that means he's number one. <laughs> no, number, we have several world champions. World champion number? Three. Number three. First one is Steinitz, second is Lasker, third one is? Capablanca, of course. Capablanca. Now, okay, what are you going to do in this position? You got some advantage here, but it's not so clear. And he's ready. He's ready to, he's ready to uh, push his pawn. Who are you? Are you white or black? White to play. Listen carefully, okay? White to play. Checkmate in three by attacking that king, okay? Yes. Oh, this actually checkmate in four. A little bit more challenging, okay, for you. It's not so simple. It's not that simple, trust me. You must analyze the position first. And the answer is? Knight goes back. Tikran. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's the thing. I wouldn't view. This is advanced class. I'm not going to give the checkmate in one positions here. <laughs> Guys, don't expect that. You know. Checkmate in three and four minimum. Okay. Three and four is the minimum for this class. Is this class in advanced? Yes. What does it? Is it like advanced? <laughs> 
Well, compared to the previous class, this is more advanced. Okay? O but just solve this one, don't worry. <laughs> just try to solve this, guys. Yeah, this is the advanced class of what we have today. Okay, I see a couple of hands, but not as many here. Not as many as I like. Why to play? Checkmate in four. Four, okay? Come on. Think about it. Yeah, but then this problem. <laughs> that's the thing. So that's fine. That's fine. You actually got the first move. Now, can you follow it up precisely? And do the checkmate in three. Follow it up precisely. Checkmate in three from now on. Who sees the checkmate in three? Raise your hand. Who sees it? It's a three move checkmate now. Arjun. Knight h6 check. Pawn cannot take it because of the pin. He cannot go here because of the mate. Okay? So he has to take with the queen. And now, what's the follow up? Wow. Very strong. Very strong. That was very good, Arjun. The whole thing, you got the whole thing, yeah? Let's do this one more time. This is pretty advanced stuff here, okay? You are playing like world champion number three, Capablanca. In the back. Go. 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 Checkmate. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Okay. That's how you have to do this ideas. Okay. Next one. Are you ready? You are going to play this position for black. And I expect a victory from you. It's only four moves. Okay. It's not a mate, this one. It's just a crushing victory, okay? Yes. It's just a fork, okay? It's just a fork, yes. Um, that's a good idea, too, but that's, I think, that square is designed for another piece here. Which piece is better to go to G4 here? Yes. The He's got it, yes. Knight is attacking here <coughs> and attacking here. Okay? Now, he has to take. What is the idea? We need to attack the defender here, everybody. Defender need to be attacked, yes. He's got it, correct. Attacking the defender, defender is gone. Checkmate is on the board. Everybody got it? Yeah. He will go here. Now I want a neat finish from you. Neat finish. Somehow its king is becoming more overworked, you know? More and more overworked, that king. No, no, no. You have a shot here. You have a tactical shot and you win the game. You have a tactical shot that wins the game. And that shot is... Yes. Bravo, bravo Martin, correct, yes. Check, and now you win his queen. That's what you want to do, right? Yeah. Takes, thank you very much. All right, excellent. Excellent job, okay? That's how you got to do it to win this game. Any questions? Let's do this idea again, this advanced attacking idea so you can remember it better, okay? Attacking the king, exposing opponent's king, 
to win. Go. Yes? Fork. So if he moves away, you take the pawn on h2. It's a mate. So he has to take it, which he does. Attack. Bravo. Very nice. Knight takes here and exposing. Bravo. Excellent. Very good job, OK? Now, I have one more position for you here for attacking the king, OK? Black to move and win. You're black in this position, OK? You're black in this position, and you're going to win this. How many moves? How many moves? It's a couple of moves, not very, not, not too many. Oh, it's about, the whole thing is like six moves, but, but you just need to see the idea, you know, idea, idea, idea. So what to do here? His bishop is very strong, and uh, it's not easy. You really need to analyze this position a little bit, okay? And see your threats. Like for example, knight b6 would be lovely, you know, to attack this. Because if he moves away, we just win, right? But the problem is, check. Problem is, he comes in. And then you take, he goes, checkmate. Okay? That is the problem, okay, everybody? That is the problem. So that's why we cannot play the move knight b6 in this position. Shh, think. You're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. You need more time, guys. This is very nice idea. Very, very nice idea. You will win. But you got to think. Now, which piece needs to be... You saw the strength of that bishop. You saw how powerful that bishop was, you know, causing all sorts of problems for us, okay? Yes. Rook takes bishop, correct. He's identifying that by eliminating the bishop. Correct, Martin. Now, where is the follow-up? Do I want to see the follow-up? Excellent, now. Knight b6 attacking that queen. Queen cannot go anywhere except b3, correct? Mm -hmm. Anywhere else he goes, he loses it. Yeah. Now, keep working. And then. Correct. Trapping the queen. He will sacrifice to escape from it. What do you do? Uh, and he takes back, and he's... Yeah, you can take this back, but you're not really winning this. Do you see the winning shot here? The winning idea now. I should have more hands by now. Yes? Winning idea, not queen b5. Queen b5 will exchange. You. B3 is sacrificing another pawn. I take you. Check. Look at that, everybody. Check. Checkmate. You see, you have to always look at these ideas to open up the diagonal, you know? Because that's what it does. You threaten checkmate, you threaten checkmate. Okay? That's what you're trying to do. You have a question? Excellent. Let's do it again. From the very beginning, this is a very special position. Okay? White to play, black to play, and win. Because you do more of these ideas, you're going to see more in a, your own games, okay? You're going to develop these ideas. Arjun, first move. Sacrificing exchange to eliminate them. Second move. Who wants to give me the second move? You. Correct. Third move. Who, who's got the third move? To force it. You. No. 
correct, forking the rook and queen and trapping it. So he takes. Now, the next move, who's got the next move? Excellent. And now, the finishing touch. B3. B3, bravo. Threatening check on a E1 and threatening mate on A2. That's why he has to take it. He cannot do anything else. He has to take it, okay? He cannot just do anything. So he takes it or he takes it with something else. And now, same thing. Whatever he does, I want the checkmate from you guys. So what is the checkmate in the back? Focus, focus, don't rush. Focus. You. Check. Now he has to go back here. Check out. Checkmate. Got it? The attacking ideas, okay? That's what you have to remember in this. How to attack when you have the advantage, okay? When you have the advantage, how to proceed, okay? So remember that. Remember so you can continue doing that. Okay? Because otherwise in this position, you would make another move and then maybe he would win. Yeah. You know, because if, if let's say you make a random move. <laughs> look at that. He takes you. He checks you. He takes you, and then your king is going to get checkmated, because it's very exposed, okay? So that's why you have to make sure you don't do that, okay? You have to make sure you take the bishop on g5. How many of you would have done this in a tournament game? Would sacrifice the exchange and calculate the six move combination to win? What do you think, in the tournament game? Hmm? Yeah, you more you do this, more you can find these ideas, okay? So that's the idea to remember for you. All right, and one more thing I want to review before we start playing our practice games. When we start a game, the very first step we're going to do, second step we're going to do, third step we're going to do, fourth step we're going to do, Complete, complete development. And the fifth step, the final step, we are ready to? The attack. So now I'm going to pair you up with your, I know most of you, I'm going to pair you up with your strength, players, and I want you to follow those five steps, okay?